Now that smart home devices are so prevalent and inexpensive, it'd be easy to think that you're just one Amazon shopping cart away from building your own smart home. Just do it yourself, right? Well, unfortunately, we're finding out that it's not really that simple. In this installment of Connect My Crib, we're gonna take a look at a modern home that was surprisingly absent much tech, save some speakers in the ceiling, run through the homeowner's wish list of uh, home entertainment, smart devices, and security devices, and learn how home automation company Savant got brought in to tie it all together. For home entertainment, the homeowner's needs were pretty simple. Great picture and great sound. The great picture part was easy. Premium TVs from Sony and Samsung were installed elegantly so that it was a nice, clean look. But for great sound, the TV speakers were not going to do. That's where Origin Acoustics came in. They provided their top of the line in-ceiling speaker to be distributed throughout the home. So not only are they handling the music in the various rooms of this home, they're also handling all of the TV sound as well. That takes care of the inside audio. What about outside? Well, the homeowner wanted to be able to enjoy music out by the pool and on his patio. So speakers were installed in those locations. And those little mushroom looking things, those are actually subwoofers. We've got two of them out here. And believe me, it is a party when those things crank up. Not everybody wants to use their smartphone or tablet to control their entertainment system. Most of us are pretty comfortable with a wand style remote like this, but Savant's is extra special. It's got a really nice feel to it. This is that grippy black silicone stuff that feels really good in your hand. It's got a nice weight to it. It's got all of your basic control keys here for channel and volume. This will control the audio system through the entire home if you want. But what's really special about it is this touch screen. It makes navigating to the various channels that you subscribe to extremely easy. It's a bright, vibrant touch screen with logos that you're very familiar with for all your TV stations. All you need to do is dial in, uh, say, HDTV, press the button, and the TV will change channel. For smart home control, one of the original smart home devices is still the most popular, the smart thermostat. Now, there's a lot of these available. Different brands will work with the Savant system, but Savant makes its own that integrates especially well with the Savant system. Smart lighting was another key consideration, and for this, the integrators at ProTech went with a Lutron system, which integrates nicely with the Savant system. Here, we can control all of the lights in just about any way we want. Lutron also happens to do smart shades. So we have several shades through the house that can be addressed through the Lutron system, opened and closed as needed. Another key consideration of this smart home, see what I did there, key? Well, actually lack of key would be these smart locks from Quickset. These locks allow the owners to allow entry into the home without necessarily being home. It also affords them keyless entry, which adds to convenience. Garage door control is also super popular, but you don't have to buy a smart garage door opener. This little add-on from MyQ turns any garage door opener into a smart one. There's also a suite of security cameras placed about the home, tied in with a larger security system provided by Alarm.com. And then there are video doorbells provided by Doorbird. Now, if you're keeping track, that's six distinct platforms, not counting all of the AV gear in the AV cabinet. So how do you tie all of this together so you don't have to pop into six or seven different apps every time you want to do something with your smart home? Well, that's where Savant comes in. And to make it all work, it takes a fair bit of equipment. Like I said, there is a lot of gear happening here. And I got to hand it to the integrators that laid this out. Uh, it's done very cleanly, especially on the back. The cable management, as you can see, was done expertly. So when we look at all of this equipment, what is it all doing? Well, up at the top, uh, we're looking at mostly network gear. This is what provides that robust wireless and wired network that this entire system absolutely needs to run on. Then if we go a little bit further down, we've got some of our AV gear. This is a TiVo Bolt 4K DVR uh, with TiVo minis that are serving some of the other televisions in the home. We also have an Apple TV which they're able to distribute to all the different televisions in the home. We've got a Sony 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray player uh, that's going to deliver the top video content that goes out. They can uh, distribute that to all the TVs at once or just one if you want to, um, but you don't have to have that right next to the TV, so that's handy. We also have a uh, high capacity video switcher here. This is what allows that 4K Ultra HD video to be distributed throughout the home. 
and they had to do some clever work in order to deliver the more bandwidth intensive 4K Ultra HD 60 uh, frame per second content. Um, so they uh, integrated that. A little bit further down, we've got the Savant Pro media servers. This is what allows the system to deliver any one of three sources to uh, 10 zones within the house. There's uh, that many different spots in the house that have uh, speakers in them. So you can be playing the same thing outside as you are in the living room while something else is going on in the garage. They have a lot of flexibility here. And then down at the very bottom, we've got a super high current amplifier to drive all of those speakers. As complicated as that rack may look, the Savant system is anything but complicated to use. Just like a good stage show, you never know what's going on behind the scenes because everything in front of you is so well laid out and well executed. Here, this system is user familiar. We talk about user friendly, but when something's user familiar, you just know how to use it. If you wanna play a song, just pull up your favorite music service and tell the system where you want that sound to go. You can even pull the sound from the television and distribute it anywhere around the house that you want. Controlling lights is equally simple. Everything's labeled well. You've got simple on-off switches and sliders. And of course, Alexa can control all of this as well. Now that our modern home is filled with equally modern technology, one thing has become very clear, and that's that even though smart home devices are less expensive and more available than ever before, it's not the DIY project that we want it to be. All these disparate platforms need to be housed under one roof. You need one system to stitch it all together, and that's where Savant came in for this smart home. Savant presents this as one unified system. You'd never know that you got all these disparate elements, and that user interface is extremely familiar. If you know how to use a smartphone or a tablet, you can operate this smart home. That seems to be the Savant difference in this case. That's it for our fifth installment of Connect My Crib. We'll be back with the sixth installment soon, and until then keep it right here at Digital Trends and we'll see you on the next one.